If you want to measure the internal resistance of a load, whether it is a light bulb, a tiny resistance, or an engine, the rule number one you have to do is you have to completely disconnect the component you want to measure from the circuit. It cannot be connected to the circuit, all right? So you disconnect it like this. You have the two legs on the side, like on each side. What you're going to do, you're going to use a multimeter. If you have no clue what you're measuring, you can start at one scale, like I'm at 2K right now. I'm going to be holding the resistance, okay? Now, if I have overload, it means the resistance I'm holding is probably higher than 2,000 ohms, all right? We can go up to the next scale. And now, what I do have here is I have a reading of about 2.2. Therefore, the value of this resistance is 2,200 ohms, okay? Now, a couple of tricks. So over here, um, if you hold it with your hands and you have a very small resistance, the result could be impact. So I suggest that you might want to use a clips, okay? So you're not touching it with your bare hands, so you get a more accurate measurement. And that is true only for very small values, okay? So do, to do it this way would be good, okay? But again, the reminder is the component must be completely detached, removed from the circuit before it is measured. If you're trying to measure the resistance within the circuit, it's not going to work. And the reason is that this multimeter here sends a very small current through, and he's actually, with Ohm's law, he's measuring the resistance. If you have a circuit, then he, the reading you're going to be getting here is the, the overall resistance of the entire circuit, and you usually do not want this, okay?